Can you give us uh, some examples of great teams that you've been part of and how that spirit was created? Yeah. Obviously, first one that comes to mind is uh, Harlequins 2012 when we won the Premiership. We, we built the camaraderie, basically working hard on the field, but having a great time off it as well. You know, we had a good amount of socials. We were quite a young team who um, didn't have many in England internationals at that time, so we spent a lot of time together and we really enjoyed that time. There was a lot of guys in that squad who grew up together through the academy, so obviously we'd spent um, good nights out together as, as uh, teenagers and, and uh, built memories that way, but then once we got on the field, we always worked incredibly hard, but we created memories off the field uh, with nights out and team socials. Um, it's so important. It, uh, it, it is important. You yeah. can't emphasise that enough. Yeah, you, that, that spirit of rugby is because of the blend of all the characters and the brilliance comes together to make it better. And rugby ha it is like that, whatever level you're playing at, you yeah. need all these people coming together to make this perfect team, which you yeah. were back in 2012. Yeah, and then you create, off the back of that, you create memories on the field, which just uh, makes, you, makes your team even stronger. It is no, there's, there's no, let's say no different where you're playing at Salisbury or Marlow, you're playing at Quinns, you're playing for England, as we have. The best teams that we play w with for England are when they get that camaraderie right off the field, probably more so than on the field, and the same with the Lions, exactly. Yeah. When you meet up with past opponents, how does it feel? When you meet up particularly with the old Lions boys, you know, and it does go back quite you know, decades now, is there Im immediately, it's as if you've, you've never been away. They're, you just have a connection and you, you've got a topic of conversation that you can just go to and refer to and you can do all the pleasantries around family and um, how the health is, etc. But you know you've got something really quite close and, and deep. And they were my opponents week to week at club or country, but then when you're on the Lions, you have this real bond. So it's a little bit different with the Lions. Opponents, you know, say internationally, I just, I can't think of any of my opponents where I wouldn't want to be in a room and having a drink. You know, and it's, some of it was ferocious. Yeah. But I think that's the beauty of the game that we play. I mean, yeah. very rarely do you come across someone where you think, oh, I want to avoid them. Yeah. yeah, that's the amazing thing about rugby, isn't it? When you kick lumps out of each other uh, in the game for 80 minutes and then after the game or later down the line when you, when you see your opponents, you can share a drink with them, you can share a chat with them. There's no hard feelings with whoever's won and lost. If you've given one of them a little dig, things like that, you know, it's all forgotten. And, you just enjoy each other's company. It's so it's true, great. though, though. Yeah. When you do remember getting a diggy, oh, you, yeah, you, yeah. you fractured a couple of my ribs with that <laughs> shot. Yeah. Oh, you, what you yeah. like? Yeah. Oh, you're lunatic. Yeah.